Hey, earlier, we introduced you to the new Miss Idaho Teen USA. Joining me right now is the new Miss Idaho USA, Jordana Damon. Jordana, good morning. Thanks for being here and a huge congratulations to you on the honor. Thank you so much and good morning to you. Of course, okay, so like we asked Jenna, uh, take us through that one moment where you were finally crowned Miss Idaho USA 2022. It was such a surreal moment for me. It was my last year competing and I was actually a lot more calm than I was expecting to be. When it got down to the final two, I was standing there with Hannah, who's an incredibly accomplished woman. And so I was gonna be happy with the outcome regardless of how it went because I knew it was either gonna be a chapter closing for me or a new journey beginning. But then when I heard my name, everything just stopped and froze. I started crying and I still cry every time I think about it. Oh, we're watching the moment right now. It's it's so sweet, that smile. Now, uh, I was a judge, I think, two years ago, and uh, you were there, of course. One of the things that impressed me is how much work you do in the STEM field. And, of course, you even got national recognition for that. Uh, now, for young girls watching right now, what message do you have to share or want to share about getting into STEM and encouraging them to get on that journey as well? I think sometimes it can be really disheartening, especially when you watch movies and TV, because there's such a narrow scope of how women in STEM are portrayed. And so my message to young girls is that you don't have to fit into a box of the stereotypes of how women in STEM are portrayed, because you can be both a science nerd and Miss Idaho USA. And so I would just encourage them to connect with real women in STEM for their mentors and role models. Nice. Well put. And you're now the living proof of exactly what you just said. So well done there. Now, of course, you've had an interesting experience with the uh, Miss Idaho USA program, placing in the top 15 and runner up. And now you've won the whole thing. What has kept you going? It has certainly been a roller coaster of a journey, but you need to know what your why is for why you're competing. For me, it's promoting that platform of shattering STEM stereotypes. So even in the years where I didn't perform as well as I wanted to, you have to just trust the process and know that the timing is going to work out in the end and that this experience is more than just the crown. It's about who you become on the other side of it. Really well put there. Now, what's next for you in the next year as Miss Idaho USA and then after that for you in general? I am beyond excited to get to spend the year doing appearances across Idaho with my Miss Idaho teen, Jenna Beckstrom. And then two of my major goals is I wanna showcase the things that make Idaho great and then also the STEM careers that are behind them. For example, if you love the great outdoors, there's a lot of different careers in research in Idaho's fish and game. And then I also really want to start a STEM scholarship for Pageants Northwest contestants. The four years that I competed, I've met so many wonderful Miss and team that are pursuing STEM careers. So I wanna be able to give back and start a scholarship to support those contestants. Awesome, great stuff there. Okay, well, we are out of time. My guest today, of course, Miss Idaho USA 2022, Jordana Damon. Thank you so much for being here. And again, huge congratulations to you. Thank you.